All right, today we are doing an official review of the CZ Scorpion Evo 3S1 with all of the modifications that have taken place thus far. Real quick, we are going to try and do a safety check one-handed here. I personally already know this is empty, but uh, we'll turn the safety on. And Ek. There we are, no bullet in the chamber. So. Okay, we know it's empty. We're going to go ahead and switch that back on. All right, safety check done. Let's go ahead and discuss all of the modifications because anybody that knows the uh, CZ Scorpion pistols, they can acknowledge that this is not stock. Um, so what I have done so far is the KAK brace. This is a uh, Vortex Spitfire three times prism scope. We've got the Yeti Works grip, and uh, I forget who manufactures the trigger with a lighter trigger spring. So that as a whole really completes what I've done to the gun. So we've got one. I also had to order this uh, adapter plate, uh, CZ to AR adapter plate. So you've got uh, two parts for the trigger, one for the grip, two parts for the brace, and then one part for the uh, scope. And so as a whole, we're going to run down uh, what we ran into at the range. And that was 200 rounds that we put through this, um, and it only had one malfunction. Um, so we did have to clear it, and then it was good to go. That was the only malfunction we had. It could have been a bad bullet. It could have been just a fluke, but um, one out of 200 I didn't think was too bad. So that's kind of where we're at with how well the gun performs. Prior to going out, I did have the scope sighted in at Cabela's, and it was pretty accurate at about uh, 40 to 50 yards. We did have to make some minor adjustments up top, um, but that did get it real close to the range of where we had to be. So that was easy enough to do, and other than that, it, it really performed outstanding. So let's go ahead and talk about comfort of shooting the pistol. This is a 9mm round, so it's no different than a handgun, just a bigger gun. Um, and... Uh, with the brace, it does make the gun very comfortable and very easy to shoot. Uh, the scope helps with being, you know, that, that far away, 45 to 50, especially with a 9mm round. Um, you try shooting a regular pistol that far away, and it becomes very difficult. But the scope made it easy, um, and I, I will do a product review of each individual part, but I felt that I would do the review as a whole and kind of show what the complete product is as a whole prior to doing individual reviews, you know, one of the trigger, one of the grip, one of the brace, and then uh, the Vortex scope as well. So um, this is probably what most people are interested in would be the scope and how well that performs and what, what all it can do. But, uh, you know, all in all, the gun performed amazing it was uh it, it was a lot of fun to shoot i do think that i want to get an extended mag uh 20 rounds goes by pretty fast when uh when going through this gun um especially when it doesn't malfunction and you don't you're not spending uh range time clearing jams or anything so um uh, the beauty of this is that it's nine millimeters so it's cheap to shoot and it's it's fun. It, it was it was a lot of fun, um, and you know I, I'm not looking to get a bunch of yardage because really, I mean everybody that can shoot rifles from from a far distance, I don't have that room to shoot. Uh, 45, 50 yards is about where where I'll be, and so I figured this would be ample for uh, for doing that at that range. So 
all in all, this is a, a great firearm for range and a lot of fun. So I give it a thumbs up and definitely check it out if you ever get a chance. Um, but that's it. And like I said, in the next few weeks, I will discuss each piece kind of individually and my thoughts on if that helped or hindered the, the firearm. So be sure to like and subscribe to the channel down below for more reviews, and we'll catch you later.